welcome back to my channel and today we're trying a little bit of a different video and a different angle um we're gonna do a lip declutter video and i have this bin of like lip products lip glosses liquid lipsticks um bullet lipsticks and everything in between um i also have my makeup eraser and a thing of spray water if I need to swatch anything. We are ready to go. So let me know what you think about this angle. I'm trying to get all the angles and everything situated for all future videos. I finally I had to go back to a new cord and an old phone to film this. So let's start with this one because it's sticking up. This is one of the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump. These are like really, really popular. And my sticker came off, but I want to say this was like cranberry maybe. Oh, that's definitely not right because it's a like light pink color. I'll tell you, the click on these is very satisfying. But as far as like the feel of them goes, I don't love them too much. I genuinely, this is probably going to get like <laughs> questionable response but I think these are kind of overhyped I will keep it because I like this color a lot I think it's a really pretty shade but a little overhyped in my opinion this is another one and the stickers do not stay on the bottoms of these to save your life so good luck this is just the maracuja juicy lip but this is the original I just realized my ring light's not on hold on now I've got my ring light on we're good to go <laughs> this okay i think this is the cranberry shade i'm almost positive i could again could very well be wrong <gasps> oh these are gooey why are these so gooey look at all that that came off look that's like really gooey wow I don't like that they smell like coconut. That's a hot take, I feel like, but I don't like that they smell like coconut at all. <sighs> I don't know, y'all. I might actually get rid of them. <sighs> I don't like them. I am wetting my makeup sponge. Or makeup eraser, not my makeup sponge. This watch is gone. All right. Let's go with this one. This is the, I can never remember the name of this brand. Is it Dominique Cosmetics? It's written right there in the smallest font ever. This is the Berries and Cream Liquid Lipstick in the shade Creamy Pink. It's a cream matte liquid lip. I know this is a matte lip, but to me, this is like the driest liquid lipstick ever. Like, I think it is so dry. It's a pretty shade, but I'm gonna pass this on to somebody else. This one is the Complex, what is it? Sorry, Complex Culture, I think is the brand. Yes, now if you can read this teeny tiny print, <laughs> It's in the shade Espresso. It is the Deal Closer Lip Tinted Lip Cream. You gotta really focus on that. I loved this, as you can see. But this is dry. See how peely it is? Look at that. This is a weird formula anyways, but I think it was beautiful. It's just old, and it needs... It needs to go. <laughs> Unfortunately, I apologize for all the millions of vehicles driving around. This is the Revlon Kiss Cushion Lip Tint. I'm going to have multiple shades of this, but this one is Berry Lit. That's a disgusting name. You twist this and it comes out here. I think this is really pretty and I like the packaging. Also, this container is from Dollar Tree, by the way. 
Okay. Dantis, this is the Plumeria Petals Lip Gloss. I have only used this a few times. And I think it's a very pretty, it's a very light plum gloss. And it does have a little tiny bit of like gold flecks in it. But it's really, really pretty. I love this shade. I'm keeping that for sure. ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip. And mine's in the shade of Flurries. You can't, there you go. Again, I will say, look how dry. I'm gonna assume this is gonna be a toss. Yeah, look at it. Look at the back of the doe foot. Oh God, that's a dead giveaway. Beautiful shade, but it's dry, it needs to go. All right, hold on, let's remove swatches. Wow, this thing dried quick. I also feel like I'm over the whole matte lip thing. I feel like I don't like the dry lip syndrome I get from them. Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the liquid lipstick in Sepia. I don't know if you can even see that. Hold on. You're never going to be able to read that. That's fine. Let's see, this is how a liquid lip should look. I like this. I don't like the shade that much, but I've actually used it quite a bit, so I am going to keep this. I think the shade is gorgeous. <laughs> then we've got the same, this is the same formula. This one's in the shade Rusty Rose. And this is how a non-dried up one should look. this formula I think it's so beautiful and light and it looks so good if you're going to like work or something I love it this is a morphe lipstick in the shade sweet tea now listen I don't wear a whole lot of browns but I have worn the crap out of this brown lipstick I don't know why I don't know what it is about this shade but like, that doesn't look like it should look good on me, but I love it. And it might not look good on me, but I wear it a lot. I'm definitely keeping this. Also, like, look at the Morphe packaging. It's so cute. That was back when Morphe was a decent brand. No offense, Morphe. Another Anastasia lipstick in the shade Pure. This is like more towards a shade I would use just on its own. A lot of these I do mix. Like that doesn't give me concealer lips, but there's a shade in here that would for sure. Keeping this 100%. Anastasia has great liquid lips. That's why I love them and that's why everybody loves them. Here's another one in the shade Trouble. I went through a phase where I bought these all the time. This one's on the drier side, but it's so pretty. One thing I'll notice is, look. See how this has this kind of doe foot? And this one has that kind of doe foot, right? But if you noticed, hold on. The one I just showed you has a normal doe foot. I don't know why that is or what the deal is with that, but just thought I'd point that out. <laughs> this is another Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lipstick. This one's in the shade Rose. Look, an actual sticker. This is one of the only one of these I like because I like this like stick formula. And the color is so pretty. I actually do really like this formula a lot more than the other ones from this collection. So I will actually keep this one. For sure, one of the oldest lip products I own, the 
Revlon Matte Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in the shade HD Passion. Look at how old this is. But look, it's still not like super dry. I am going to go ahead and let this one go, unfortunately. After all these years, it's our time to retire. But this has done me well. I like this shade a lot. Removal time. I shouldn't have waited so long. I literally can't get it off now. Let's go through Kylie, because I've got several of these. This is the old school Kylie packaging in the shade One Wish. So pretty. I loved these. I still do, but nothing beat the OG Kylie packaging. Like, genuine. look, I've used enough of this for there to be, like, empty spots. Then we've got the Ulta Beauty shade, which I'm not even sure if they make this anymore. But this was one of my favorite shades from her. I loved how nicely these dried. These were some of the best liquid lipsticks of their day, for sure. This is the Kylie shade. Oh, that one's kind of dry. But it's a beautiful shade. Oh, I gotta keep these, don't I? That's crazy. <laughs> and then I think I have, I don't know if I just have one of these, but this is the new packaging. This is in the shade. The sweater weather, I couldn't read it. <laughs> much 
either. I'm gonna get rid of this one for sure. Okay, let me wipe these off really quick. Oh God, I can't get this off now. This is what happens when you leave it on for too long. That's as good as that's gonna get, unfortunately. There we go. Okay. Then we've got Ola Neon Velvet Liquid Lip in the shade The Easy Sell. I have never really liked this pack of this formula. Um, oh god, sorry. That's not my favorite shade in the world ever. Like, that is... It's a lot. I'm gonna keep it because I want to try it a couple more times before I get rid of it, but definitely not my favorite thing ever. We've got a Bobbi Brown, what is this called? Lip Tint Extra, Extra Lip Tint in Bear Pink Sparkle. Oh, I remember buying this. I don't even know if you can really see the sparkle in that, but this is so pretty. I don't even know if you can really see that on camera. There you go, sort of. It is such a beautiful little tint, and I love this. It's so pretty. Not to mention, um, Bobbi Brown is not cheap. <laughs> this is... Oh, pretty vulgar. The packaging's stunning. And this is in the shade Bury Them With a Smile. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. I'm not gonna swatch this. This just literally fell out. I'm done, it's going in the garbage. We're not even gonna swatch that one. Oh, sorry. This is the Elf and Jen Adkin um, Lip Duo in the shade Self Made Pink. And I'm only gonna swatch the lip because they're literally the exact same shade. This set was one of my favorite sets Elf ever did and I stand by that. I got this from Timu, I believe. And you're supposed to be able to put your lips on both sides, either side of this, and it's supposed to line them perfectly. I've only used it a few times. I don't hate the color. It's all right. It's nothing special. We're gonna stop, like, in a few minutes because there's just too much to go through all of this. We've got the Bare Minerals. Marvelous Moxie Speak Your Mind lipstick, and you push this down, and it comes out the bottom. Why are all of my bullet lipsticks on their last possible leg? Like, what is going on? It does get really hot in here in the summer. Maybe that's got something to do with it. That's a beautiful shade. I'm keeping that. That's gorgeous. I'm really trying hard to get back into my bullet lipstick world. We've got the YSL Rouge Voluped Rock and Shine. Number 15, I think. This is what it looks like. This has so much glitter in it, it's like hard to wear, but the packaging is gorgeous. And I love it, so I keep it anyways. And then I've got this one, which is in shade 44. This is like the original one. It looks like this. My one issue is you see how oily this is now? Like this is like so, it goes from like a bull stick to a pure oil so fast. And I feel like it slips all over me, but I do like it and it was way too expensive to get rid of. This is the Tarte Lip Paint that they did in collaboration with Bunny, Graveyard Girl. And as beautiful as this is, 
it is so dry. I'm getting rid of it. I'm not even gonna swatch it. It's so old. This is in the shade Texas Toast. I love Graveyard Girl, but that's so old. Kylie Lipstick, Lipstick in the shade Coco K. This was like the classic shade. This was like the shade. God, that's so pretty. I'm telling you, I loved her old formula. We've got some MAC lipsticks. This one is in Velvet Teddy. This is a beautiful shade. This is like a cold classic MAC lipstick. So pretty. I'm keeping that for sure. That's a miniature, by the way. These two are very, very similar shades. This is the holiday one in cream. It's a cream sheen in the Keller Cream Cup. This was back when nude, like concealer lips were like really a thing. But I love this shade and I've used a lot of it. Um, and then this one is Nicki Minaj's uh, Pink, the Pink Friday Viva Glam and it's the pink print. Again, very, very similar shade, but like very, very similar, but I love Nikki and I'm keeping both of these. These are more like classics more than anything. The last like huge bulk of these. shade ever. Might actually get rid of that one. Then I've got Pink 6, which is actually one of my favorite ones that I own. This is a very sticky formula, but they are cute. And then I've got Pink 5. Oh, I think I got rid of the other ones. I had like Pink 1 and Pink 2 and stuff. Yeah, these are really nice. I like these a lot. And then this one is Nude 4. That's not really my shade, but it is pretty. I'll hold on to that. I love mixing lipsticks. That's why I keep so many random shades. Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, of course. You absolutely have to have this. But I will say, this I feel like is a dupe. The Juvia's Place, hashtag 2020. Like, these look very similar to me. That's, this is Juvia's Place. And then this is Charlotte Tilbury. Like, that one's a little bit darker, but it's nothing crazy. Hold on one second. and feels and pink 
IRL. I don't love this one, but I will keep them. I can tell you one that's going for sure, and this is the other ultra matte lip from Know It All, or in Know It All from ColourPop. That's actually not a terrible shade, but looks very similar to this one, so I'm gonna get rid of it anyways. Dose of Colors in Campfire. This one is so old, but it's really pretty. This is a lo-fi um, thing over Urban Decay. It's a lip product. I will never use that. This is in the Lauren Conrad in the shade Shell. Very, very pretty. Super pretty. I like that a lot, actually. My hand is going to be covered forever. Ciate London and Mrs. Peggy collab. This is their lip balm. It's just way too pink for me to be a lip balm. You see right there? But it's really cute. It feels nice on the skin, too. This is Elizabeth Arden in the shade Sweetheart number 14. And again, you push that down and it comes out. I used to carry this in my purse everywhere I went. I love the formula and I love the color. The Buxom Lip Gloss. This is a plumping lip polish in Mariah. I love this. I love the applicator. I love the look. I love all of it. Look at this and look at this applicator. It's so unique. I kind of wish all applicators were like that, to be honest. NARS Miniature Lipstick in Toledo. Looks like this. This is a gorgeous shade, in my opinion. This is more wearable than NARS, or than Orgasm. And I stand on that. <laughs> I've got another lip vinyl from Maybelline in the shade 20 Goy, C-O-Y. Do you, do you see how streaky these are? I remember why I don't use these very much. They're just so streaky in my opinion. And then this is the Cab Lip Gloss in the shade Charming. This is a great brand. They make amazing lip products. Oh, I'm for sure keeping that. Also, this is the biggest tube ever. So we're getting rid of like this handful right here. Hold on. I definitely could have done better, but that's a start for sure. <laughs> I also really just did this video to have a way to test this setup and see how we like it and what we think so please do let me know what you think of this setup sorry if that video felt kind of rushed but for some reason i can't hear myself through the headphones with this mic so i'm just kind of winging it um but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one good night good night good night